show after the show are the Tim Brazier campus of North Greenville University. And you're getting to know the people that make this community so great. And I'm glad you're along with us today because there is a program that you can learn about that you can be a part of to make a difference in kids' lives, especially kids that can't speak for themselves. Keisha White is along with us. You are a part of the Guardian Ad Litem program. I, I am. Which you are a difference maker. I mean that. <laughs> See, I, I used to be a foster parent, okay. and then we we adopted out of foster care. So okay. little Elijah, who's 11 years old, we had him since he was eight weeks old. Wow. And our Guardian Ad Litem was just so sweet and so kind <laughs> and loved children. And I sense that from you. <laughs> that is something that you're so passionate about. Well, you're a difference maker as well. Because we always need people to adopt children um, that are in foster care. So you're a difference maker as well. Well, you're a part of the ca uh, the Cass Elias McCarter Guardian Metal Item Program. And I understand that you're a homegrown girl. You're from Sumter, right? <laughs> I am. I am born and raised. Yeah, played with your cousins and everything <laughs> growing up. What was that like for you? We did. Um, we would spend um, the summers out of school at Grandma's house. Mm -hmm. um, we would play outside because that's what kids did. Um years and years ago without telling my age um we she's 23 <laughs> i wish <Yeah. laughs> we um picked plums blackberries you know just played outside road bikes you know stuff that kids these days don't don't really do anymore i know and i wish they did <laughs> what did you go to college for um i actually attended the university of south carolina um and my bachelor of arts degree is in sociology so this is all part of your DNA. I mean, you really <laughs> wanted to do and get involved with kids um, and work in the society to make a difference. I didn't know that's what I wanted to do at first, mm -hmm. but now that I'm in it, yes, this is my calling, this is my dream, and I'm not going anywhere. So while you were in college, you wanted to go and volunteer somewhere. So I what did, did you do? Um, I It was my senior year of college, and I was just looking for volunteer opportunities, um, knowing that graduation was coming up and, you know, you need a job when you graduate. So I reached out to our local program in Sumter, and they were looking for volunteers, as we always are. And um, I reached out to Ms. Deborah Wilson at the time, and I attended training and became a volunteer. You're a mom? I am. I'm you have mom. two beautiful girls. I do. Do you want them? Uh, no, you can have them. I've got my own. <laughs> they can come over and play. Okay. But you're kind of like me. I, here, here's the here's the set of my ages. Okay. Now you're going to find out my age. Okay. With the gray and the beard. <laughs> this is kind of new for me. I'm going to shave it off. Really? It's yeah. cute though. It looks nice. You it like nice. it? I do. I do. Good. Oh well, that's good. That's good. I like her already. <laughs> Difference maker, and she likes the beard. So, so my the ages of mine is 33, 24, 17, and 11. And you have an 18-year-old and a 6-year-old. So you kind of spread them out too. <laughs> Not intentionally, but uh -huh. yes. Um, my daughter will be 18 in July, and my youngest will be 7 in August. So yes. I'm sure that even drives your passion even more for the kids that can't speak for themselves. I believe that it does. Um, when you're a mom and you um, have to go home to kids after experiencing or seeing the, some of the things that we do, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you look at your children differently and you want to make sure that any child is protected as well as your own. Now, you say this. This is a quote of yours. Okay. You say, you just never know what's going on around you. That's correct. Why is that? What, what, what does that mean? Um, to well, you? when you come into um, the Guardian at Lightum program, you see things that you typically would see on TV. You know, yeah. you don't you just don't realize some of the things that are going on um, in your community. Um, you may hear about it on the news or something like that, but you just don't you don't realize it until you're actually hands on with it. So what is a guardian ad litem? You hear the big, it's like a big word to me. It's yeah. like, this sounds like big legal lawyer kind of thing, you know? Guardian ad litem volunteers serve as the voice for abused and neglected children, um, advocating on their behalf in the family court system. Um, we train and support volunteers who are committed to serving children and advocating for them to find safe, loving, permanent homes. I think there might be a misconception of what type of person can actually be a guardian ad litem. Okay. Yeah. There's actually no special requirements um, mm -hmm. besides having that passion for helping children. Um, you don't need any special educational background or anything. You um, have to have that passion for helping. You have to pass extensive background checks, and you have to attend 30 hours of training. That's it. 
Basically. And have a love for kids. And have a love for kids. And be a voice for them. 9,000 children in South Carolina, right? At the current time, that's how many children we're serving. That's a lot of people that's needed. <laughs> it is. So, And you're in desperate need. A couple of cities, I understand. Um, especially here in the upstate, um, Greenville, Spartanburg, and in the low country in Charleston. Yeah, which, which we cover both areas with his radio and show after the show. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for your help in getting the word out about what's happening with Guardian Ad Light. I mean, you are a difference maker. I love what you do. <laughs> well, thank you You're so, so much cool. for having us. Thank yeah. you. And a young 23-year-old with an 18-year-old child. <laughs> huh? If you'd like to volunteer and help out, we've got the link provided for you right here. Just click on it. We'll get you right over to the Guardian Ad Litem and the program and how you can be a part of a lot of difference makers and help these children out because they need a voice. They need your voice to help out. It's show after the show. We'll see you next time.